The best way to have fun while you're painting is listening to music. You have to have fun at work. You have to like what you do. You have to enjoy what you do. You have to uh, get into it. You have to get motivated. And this is what I got to say to you all. Be true to yourself and you will never fall. And here we are 20 years. So I think we've established ourselves as, you know, doing something right. When Coast to Coast painting started was when I moved out to Seattle in uh, 1999. And I journeyed across the country to go try something new, get out of my little small town and just it didn't officially start until about 2002 or 2003 when um, I would fly back to Pennsylvania quite often. We always painted back there with my friends. At that point, I had a logo idea of an airplane going around from coast to coast, which my friend Eric drew on a napkin, and that became my official first business card. My cousin Nathaniel Lewis, who's an artist, he drew my second logo which was kind of like Indiana Jones style, you know, caricature of myself going across the United States. We rebranded in 2012 uh, with Chalkbox Creative, and that's the logo you see today. And then the rest is kind of history. 20 years in business is pretty wild. I can't believe uh, how it's going by, you know, just year by year, just working and grinding and just progressing. I work really hard so I can do the the cool things in life that I wanted to do, you know? And the painting business allows me to do that. Hustlers and workers make it, as my grandfather would say. You don't, you don't walk into the outfield, you run, you know? Or when you're done, you don't walk to the, to the dugout, you run to the dugout, so. Be a hustler, be a worker, get out there and get after it. I majored in woodworking. I always liked finishing and like working with my hands and pottery and sculpture. And at the end of every project, the best part was finishing. And that was always my favorite part, getting, the, getting it finished, you know, making it look good, really good. I eventually dropped out of community college because I was like, I'm not really, I'm, I'm not learning enough, right? I wanted to learn everything I could learn in the trade. I just, at that point, I was like, I'm not really into school. I'm gonna go learn a trade. So I just took the leap of faith and just went full, full, full time full-time in the work and that's where we'd finish basements and I learned the ins and outs of the trades so that's I just stuck with it you know it was either go to school or learn a trade I just said I'm gonna just do everything I can do shake some trees is what we say you know so that's my thing shake some trees life is a big game and you just got to learn how to play it I guess what what it comes down to is uh, the connection, the music, and the passion definitely goes hand in hand with my sister Gina. We grew up together. It was just just me and Gina, you know? So, and she loved music. We both loved music. My, my mom loved music. And uh, we grew up listening to the best music in the 80s, you know? Um, early 80s, the whole 80s, the 90s, some of the best music that was produced that came out in that time frame. And so we just have a passion for that. So that's kind of the connection I have now, just like keeping it, keeping it alive. And a lot of times that she gives me the inspiration to like kind of keep doing stuff or getting some music that we were both into. I just always tell people how awesome Gina was, man. Like, she was an older sister, so she, you know, when I was a freshman in high school, she was a junior. So she had already been through that. She kind of, she like led the way, right? So when I got there, I was Gina Johnson's brother. You know what I'm saying? So Gina got along with everybody and everybody loved Gina. So when she was driving to school in her 82 Honda Civic, that I would get a ride home from school with the CD player. It was Check Your Head, Beastie Boys. You know, this was monumental of, of an album. Um, I mean, of course, License to Ill, the Beastie Boys were just it, right? And so all that stuff. Tribe, she got her music 
was so wide range and she influenced so many and influenced me my collection and um so yeah i mean the music is is she is the music i realized i was doing these jams and these windows you know prepping and i realized like i can't move forward until i deal with what I have to do right here, right? So I wanted to jump forward. I was like, I can't go there. And it was very symbolic of where I was in life, what I was trying to do. And I had to tie up some resolutions in my life and also going through the emotional, um, dealing with the emotions of leaving my family and leaving my mom and leaving my sister and taking this journey was huge. Taking that leap, but I remember being at work and coming to these realizations, you know, I was 21 at that time, you know, going through some major changes. I think I was 25 when I started my business, but you know, there's all these different monumental levels of like you go through in life. The painting trade is there. You've, you know, there's been sad days, good days, hard days, happy days, like, but you work through it. And I think that's the essence of painting for me is like, you just kind of keep working through it. It's going to get better and the end result is going to be awesome. So that just keep plugging away and go through those, you know, and, and listen to some good music while you're doing it. <laughs>